Hello everybody, Scott Gardner here with another Excel uh, training video. Uh, this video we are using Excel for Mac 2011. However, this will work in, uh, in whatever version of Excel you use, Mac or Windows. And um, it's an interesting little, little trick that you can use to get some subtotals for your data. So we have some sample data here. We have some team numbers, we have sales reps, and we have their sales amount. Now let's say you want to get a subtotal for each team's sales. We're going to start off by getting a sum of all the team's sales numbers. So what we have to do is we have to select the data that we want to get subtotals for. So you can either highlight the data as such, or you can just highlight the first cell in the block of data. Now we're going to go up into the data menu. We're going to click data and we're going to click subtotals. And the subtotals screen will come up here. And here you see that it says at each change in team number. And that will have all of your fields in it. Team number, sales rep, or sales. We're going to leave it as team number because we want to get the subtotals for each team. Use function sum and the, the really cool thing about this subtotals feature is that not only can you get a sum, you can get a count, you can get average, you can get all sorts of information about each team's performance. So we're going to use sum because we want to get a, a total of each team's sales. Now it's going to ask us what we want to add up, what we want to get the sum of. Since we only have one, well, we have two columns that have numbers, but only one relevant column of numbers, and that's the sales column. So we're going to add the subtotal to the sales column. Down here, you have a few different options. Um, it will allow you to replace current subtotals if they exist. We have no current subtotals, so that's a moot point. We can insert a page group, uh, sorry, a page break between each group. So that would be between each page number. We won't do that. And we can get a summary below the data, which we will leave checked. So all we have to do now is click OK. And you will see now here, here, and here that we get subtotal. So we'll just change these labels. We're going to call it Team 1 Total team two total and team three total. And then we get a grand total. So we can change these numbers up a bit. You can make them bold if you want them to stand out. You can change the color, whatever you want to do. So now we have a quick and easy way to look at each team and see exactly how each team did. So. Like I said, the, the really cool thing about it is that not only can you get a total for each team, but you can also get the, let's say the average. So I'm going to undo that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, go to data, subtotals. This time instead of summing, I'm going to get an average. Every other setting is going to be the same. And now here you see, instead of a total, we get the average sales for each team. And you can compare it to the total average. Let's call it the total average, the average of the total sales. So you can see which teams are performing above average and which teams are performing below average. So there's really quite a bit that you can do with the uh, function uh, of subtotal. So play around with it, work with it in your data, and see what it can do for you. Don't forget to visit my website. The link is in the description of this video, and you can get more free Excel tutorials there, and you can even get some free stuff, so head on over there. Alright guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have yourself a great day.